Okay, um, what I did, I had to call Uber, uh, uh Vicky, and, um, I called Uber to take a package to, uh, the post office, <clears throat> and deliver it so I could have it mailed, because I'm having the label printed there. I have to get some more ink, um, so I can print here, and I'd have to pay for it. Anyway, they want $2, and with everything that's happening, if you would, go to Wells Fargo, if you would, any Wells Fargo, anywhere near you. Anytime, anywhere near any time, Wells Fargo, and deposit like two dollars in 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 uh, my bank account, okay. And if you like, really feel like you know, all out, big spender. How about five? <laughs> big spender. Yeah. So um, yeah. Anyway, I need that to actually um get that label printed. You know, I had a, a thing about uh, going into the tab, but anyway. <clears throat> anyway, um, maybe that'll, uh, go ahead and get printed and sent, but anyway, nevertheless, uh, I need to go ahead and, and pay for it, and it's like I'm, I didn't have enough to, to cover just printing it, printing the, the prepaid postage return label, and as a matter of fact, I have, you know, some more packages that need to go anyway, but yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, I know it's like two dollars, <laughs> yeah, it's really a big deal, really, but phenomenally, it gets, Notice that, 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 you know, the two point. Notice where the point, and what, what, what the point really means. I mean, there's like two point, 61 cents. Notice the point, two point six one. Do you, do, do, do you hear and see the potential? Where that might lead with the impression of the, the point. Oh my God, big spender. Okay, yeah, so if you could do that really, I mean, that would like really be, Really nice of you, okay? But yeah. Anyway, yeah, I need to get that in there. Uh, in any case, so um, I mean, it's about a refund anyway. And um, <clears throat> virtually, I take to that particular post office is virtually always about a a return and a refund and all that stuff. So anyway, yeah. So um, <clears throat> yeah, okay. And it's still um, like I say, you know um, um. I'm feeling better, I'm not sure, uh, yet, but really as far as, um, uh, the, um, circulation and the breathing, um, it's not as intense, well, let, let me put it, it is intense, I mean, it's like way more intense on, um, um, a more frequent, um, but not as dramatic, it's intense, um, but everything involved, and, I mean, like, you know, um, everything that was involved before leading to calling an ambulance to get into the emergency room, I mean, it's not as dramatic, but the uh, intensity is still there without all the other, and still, you know, lifting the back of groceries, just walking 15 feet, I mean, it's like, you know, sprint, like, like I just sprint like a, a marathon, 26 mile, I mean, it's like, I mean, you know, <laughs> for real, it's like dramatic, you know, so anyway, <clears throat> scary dramatic almost dangerous just to pick up a bag and walk 15 feet with it I mean really it's it's really almost not seriously not safe right now anyway yeah so I mean um but I said you know I was thinking about that you know I told you earlier you know like yesterday uh that um I'm possibly considering getting there before having a need to um you know be a last minute you know, I'm I'm trying to if 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 there if that's going to be the need, uh, it will be you know um, predominantly um, um, at the um, the Baylor uh, St. Luke's Hospital at the the, the McNair campus because uh, they they have um, some really I mean from what I I, I say I mean you know naturally um, I'm, I don't know how long that place has actually been there, but in any case. Um, it has um, quite a bit of um, uh, specialized, you know, degreed type of specialization, uh, you know, in, in, in that particular field that would um, be the norm. But they have quite a bit of uh, categorization of, like, you know, that um, in a specific, you know, immediate area um, that way um, with, like, um, mesothelioma 
um, and oncology, and, um, God, there's, like, a lot of stuff, uh, uh, cardiovascular, um, that way, and, um, um, I think specialized areas in hematology as well, that would, um, you know, I hadn't read everything, you know, but the, 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 the thing about the symptoms that had led me, like, through, um, you know, some of the symptoms, and, and, and you know, and now it's to this, and, 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 and it's to this, um, um, you know, an, an automatic thing that, that I was looking for during 19, uh, excuse me, 2015, I mean, it was like an ungodly thing, um, I mean, non-stop coughing, I mean, it's, I mean, uncontrollably non-stop, um, and I was like looking for the symptoms, and, and I wasn't really finding all the information then, uh, what seems to be, and I don't know really sometimes what to believe as to that being that way, um, uh, in any case, I'm looking at it, um, as far as the symptoms being, n not that it, you know, I, I just use it like, um, um, predominantly symptoms that would be seen in certain, um, normal diagnoses that would relate to, um, maybe a, a, a different name of, um, um, beyond the symptom that would be like, um, a different type of, a. um, result like you know what what mesothelioma would be as compared to maybe um um amylodosis or congestive heart failure or um the symptoms uh, are all there and you know i don't even suggest you know the, you know they they say that's like mcnair campus but to like like a degree plan i mean i'm not really trying in any kind of way to suggest <laughs> core curriculum but you know like like you know that is always like a, a degree plan on, on like a major university I mean those are like the mainstay um, that's always like you know the demanded requirement you know and standard and, and that's really what I'm saying about the symptoms is that um, all that interchangeability and specific symptoms are like with virtually everything I've been looking at that's been involved really and others might you know vary or you know throw a little variation in or deviate from um, you know certain situations and other factors that were involved, but, you know, predominantly the, the ones, the symptoms that are there are still, um, very much, uh, what's going on, you know, so, um, that's why I'm looking at it, and, um, for other reasons, Linda, but anyway, yeah, you know, I mean, if you could do that, really, seriously, um, I think there's, like, a Wells Fargo, like, you know, like, right by you, um, I think it's, like, right there in the Kroger, Kroger uh, Plaza there, um, or by, I mean, if you could do that, that'd be, like, really good. So I can get that, you know, and, and get it on away, and uh, get the rest of the stuff in there. You know, I've been maxing out. There's been a lot of unexpected uh, wait times and, 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 and other things going on, obviously. But, you know, whatever. Um, if you could do that, that would, like, really be good. So uh, that would be great. So in that way, I mean, if that's, like, going to be, you know, something I like, like, like now would be really good. You know, anyway, so um, uh, in that way, if that's going to be something, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, great, thanks, okay. Anyway, there it is. Um. I gotta go for now. I'm going to uh, finish watching some other DVDs. I just got through watching David David Phelps' uh, Legacy of Love. Um, I mean, that's probably one of the best um, of them, uh, the best of them all, really, of like a live performance and like vocals. Man, he's really got it in control. I mean, for real, it's like one of the most impressive vocals. Um, I mean, you know, not limited to Christian, Christian, you know, entertainment, you know, but. Yeah, he's really impressive with the way he handled that particular uh, live concert, you know, audio production. It's like, yeah, it's like real good. So anyway, yeah, there it is. And um, I'm fixing to watch uh, some other stuff. And uh, anyway, there it is. I'm trying to, uh, you know, clean up a little bit. and uh, Well, at least move things around and organize it a little more. Um, I am fixing to clean up a little bit. As a matter of fact, you know, I have that Pearl. I have a Pearl uh, drum throne. Okay. And me and Dad had a little thing about, well, anyway, when I got home, my, my, my drum thumb had been broken. And then all of a sudden, they were not available anywhere on the network. Any phone call I made, I mean, you know, continually. I mean, after that, I got home and it was like, broken. It's kind of like, you know, I paid like almost $300 for that drum throne. I mean, for real, it's like a, it's, it's a pearl, um, four-legged, um, I think it's a, a, called a Roadrunner. Anyway, you know, it's kind of like, um, um, 
anyway, it's like um, different than like any any drum drum, for real. And and anyway, I, I hope they start becoming available again because I want to get another one for my drum set. Um, yeah, I mean it's like real cool anyway the way it's designed. Anyway, I want to like bring. I mean, you know, I still use it the way it broke. It's like it was still usable, but not you know a fixed you know um, motionless stationary thing. It was kind of like a a kind of lean tilt. Just a, just that little bit, uh, uh, you know, where where the tilt was resulted in maybe half inch to a three quarter inch, you know, shift in, in in lean. I mean, if that was going to be the issue, not a smooth horizontal twist, you know, with like the chair, you know, going around a one hundred eighty degree with, with my drums or you know my my double bass or whatever I need to do. Okay, but anyway, yeah. So like, hopefully that'll be made available. I'd like to get another one anyway. I mean, I think I think it was like a. When I got it, you know, hopefully it'll be, you know, for free when I get it. But anyway, I'm going to get another one anyway. Um, <clears throat> is that is that pearl four leg um, drum throwing? I think it's Road Runner. Anyway, you know, uh, it's been a while. Anyway, um, but it's like a one of a kind. In any case, yeah, I want to get one. I think it was like somewhere around like um, two hundred and thirty or forty dollars plus tax. I mean, it's like pretty close to like two hundred and like sixty dollars. I think. Uh, total amount, you know, by the time I got that one drum thrown. But in any case, you know, um, I'm still going to get another one anyway, but hopefully uh, when it's, like, available again, hopefully it will be available, like, real soon. I mean, you know, maybe it'll be like, hey, it's for free. <laughs> yeah, maybe I can talk some, like, real, real, um, communicable skills that will maybe lead to a Yeah, a business account, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, other than, a, you know, an at random, you know, <laughs> public, you know, thing about, like, going to Guitar Center, but, you know. Anyway, anyway, yeah, so, um, yeah, you know, and when, when, when I do, you know, like, call Pearl. As a matter of fact, I want to get those Rocket Toms. Um, I got to have them, you know, like, a, uh, and they were available, you know, like, I, <clears throat> I went to Guitar Center, okay, and those Rocket Toms, it's like, Okay, time I calls theirs like a octobond. D drums calls theirs like decabonds. Um, in any case, they're like a six inch cylindrical tubes. Okay, and the length of the tubes, the six inch tubes, is what really makes the difference in the sound. Okay. Well, anyway, you know, I ordered like you know four of them. I'm automatically going to be um, four. I don't really at this point see a need for like any more because they're all six inches in diameter. Okay, and my practical application, first of all, normally wouldn't even allow any more room than four anyway. Well, you know, I had the other Octobonds, um, but, you know, I, I had ordered and, and paid, like, I mean, like, a little more than $700 just for um, the uh, Rocket Toms that were being manufactured in Taiwan. Okay, and, and they're like a, a transparent, okay, but they're like a ruby red. Okay, my drum set is a Pearl Vision in a strata red. I mean, it's like a real cool color with like black hardware. <clears throat> and um, I was going to get the the Pearl Rocket Toms. I mean, I had black. Um, uh, the manufacturer's actually is is like Peace, a P E A C E, and like I got a really good price. I paid like 150 for like uh, four of them with like all the stands and everything. So I mean, I couldn't pass it up. I I, I wanted some anyway. But anyway, you know, I'd ordered, you know, like a, a several months later, the Pearl Rocket Times, and I like, you know, paid for it, and and uh, Guitar Center was waiting for a purchase order number from Taiwan, um, you know, to, to finalize an overseas transaction, which is normally, you know, the exact opposite. And normally, the, the purchase order, as far as I'm aware of, normally is handled, you know, almost at the same place. And not like a switch in reverse um, approval situation. And maybe it's that, that's because it's continual, you know, repeat customer. And maybe I might not have known the difference. But anyway, um, the thing of it is, is that really, um, um, I paid a little more than seven hundred dollars, and I was like waiting for him to like, you know, get here. You know, like a couple of months before by. So like, hey man, where they at? You know, and and what what it is is that um. Just for that, I mean, without the stands, okay, I'd ordered it with the, the black hardware, um, 
okay, the hardware automatically is going to be on the Pearl Rocket Toms. But, you know, like I say, it's like a transparent ruby red that will probably be almost a perfect match, except the tube will be transparent and, you know, get the stands separate. I mean, with the stands, I may be close to, like, really brand new, everything brand new is, like, pretty close to $1,000 just for four Pearl Rocket Toms and, and the stands to go with it because each stand will hold two. But in any case, you know, I'm really going to get it anyway, but it's just that, you know, I was, like, looking and seeing it when I was looking, and, like, other places had it for, I mean, you know, all of that, uh, as compared to Pearl being, like, right at a 1000 I mean, I was looking at the entire thing for, like, pretty close to, like, around $300, $350 with everything, stands and everything, but, um, not the black hardware. Um, because, you know, like I was telling you, like, with the Pearl Vision drum set with the black hardware, it's kind of like, it, it has, like, I, I don't know if it's polyurethane, but it's a coating, and it's thick, it, it's, it's almost like a, an insulated type of coating, and, and I don't know if it's polyurethane, you know, like you would see, like on, you know, like kids when they go through the roller skating rink, like the wheels are made of, or skateboards or something like that, um, I, I think that might be something similar that way with what they use for coating with a different color, but anyway, yeah, um, yeah, so, I mean, the black with that coating is, like, really worked well for me, considering, you know, like, the way I practice anyway, and, and I have to worry about, like, wiping it off all the time, or, you know, any sweat or salt from the sweat, uh, causing, um, you know, a, a flash-plated chrome rim from, you know, eventually, you know, getting a little bit of rust. And normally, you know, I was with the perception that that was not supposed to happen anyway. I mean, some of the drum sets that I purchased and, 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 and you know, uh, they identified it as, as chrome, you know, not, you know, like, you know, a, a mega fraction of a, a, a millimeter, you know, flash, you know, like some electronic, you know, flash, uh, <laughs> like, like a kosher, <laughs> like a kosher, uh, uh, valued, you know. A, a ordained type of consensual, you know, blessing, you know, you know, flash, flash chrome plating, yeah, yeah, that's what, <laughs> no, anyway, 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 so like, it's like the black heart over that, that black coating, it like really, you know, eliminates, you know, and every day, every time I sweat, because, you know, I used to, you know, considering everything involved, I mean, sweat would be flying off my arms and be like all over the drum set, especially the rims. And, um, it got to where I just got so tired of doing it. I mean, it's like, I was doing that all the time. And I just got to where, I mean, I'm just not going to, like, you know, wipe my drums every day, you know, and spend, you know, a couple of hours just doing the rims alone and then the entire drum set. I mean, you know, doing my drum set is, like, you know, seriously close to a, I mean, a real serious, like, cleaning job. Um, it's really about a two and a half, three hour thing. For real, it's kind of like God, you know. A drum really has a lot more to to contend with, with, you know, maintenance as well as just keeping them tuned up. Or, you know, keeping, you know, if, if they're not coated with that black coating like, like I have on a Pearl Vision set, uh, it's like, it gets really not fun. Um, continually having to wipe it off and keep it dry and clean just to prevent, you know, possible, yeah, you know, I don't know if I'd call it, you know, corrosion or erosion, but, you know, that little rust thing because, of, you know, like some of the rims that, say they're chrome, and then after you get them, and uh, it's kind of like, after, you know, the, and then they see that, that flash, that flash chrome plating thing, it's kind of like, oh man, you're like, like the, <laughs> you're, you're sending it with it after it's like purchased, right, it's kind of like, the before, during, there's that proper English grammatical composition, the before, during, and after, it's like, oh, now you're telling me thing, yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay, so anyway, um, yeah, so anyway, you know, I'm trying to, I, I really want to get those, those Pearl Vision, uh, transparent ruby red rocket toms with the black hardware. Um, yeah, I really want those. Yeah, just because, I mean, I have a Pearl Vision set and, and, uh, you know, I want the, the Pearl. Just because, you know, it's Pearl. Yeah, really, seriously so. And, um, <clears throat> the thing with this is that, you know, Pearl, when, when, you know, most of them, um, they, they sell them in two inch increments, meaning the length of the tube, the six inch diameter length of the tubes is like in two inch increments. So, from like just a real quick reference to 2468, uh, well, with, with, with the pearl, it's actually three 
Okay, and, and it, I think it starts off with the um, 12, 15, 18, and 21 is the set of four. I'm trying to get it, you know, even a little bit more broader range to get more of a wider spectrum with a four inch increment from like a <clears throat> 12, 16, 20, and 24 inch length. And I'm trying to get them to do that. Um, I just want that extra range. Um, and I wish it was like available like uh, as as a, a display thing, and I can just go in there and like really listen to it and like play them and, and know if that's really gonna be the thing to do anyway. I mean, three inch, I already know is like most definitely you know within you know a, a tolerance that would probably equate to like some tonal quality and in tune or you know even referencing you know harmonic scale if you if you want to call it that or any split harmonic you know of, of octave. And that, that I want to stay within that range of some kind of octave scale um, between, you know, different octaves as well as uh, what would be considered the same octave. And I, I just want to make sure, you know, uh, that's that's why I wish they would keep, you know, um, <laughs> that available, you know, uh, as a, a on-floor display thing between a, a, a three inch and a four inch increment. And I haven't found anyone yet that has a four inch increment. Um, Finding the three inch increment isn't hard. Predominantly, um, Pearl is the ones that do that. Versus everyone else that does the octobonds and decabonds, uh, is like a two inch. Pearl's the only one that, that I've seen. It really, I didn't look any further anyway because it was going to be Pearl no matter what anyway. It has the three inch increment. I, but I'm trying to get Pearl to, you know, go, you know, four inch increments and, and get a broader scale, probably to the max that would go into the, you know, the other octaves. Instead of staying within like maybe one octave or moving the entire scale of octave, you know, when when it's going through, you know, like maybe a 16 pattern um, bar, a 16 bar pattern that might, you know, jump maybe once between the 16 bars in, in octave um, or, you know, maybe maybe um, two eight bar uh, and one of the eights be a, a totally different octave in tempo or you know, um, count, uh, all that, you know, and I just want to be able to cover all that, and not have to go, go, wow, I could have had a V8, you know, and, and if I can get it, that's really what I want to do, but anyway, yeah, if you would, if, if you could, if you could go to, you know, Wells Fargo, and, you know, <laughs> maybe throw in some, like, good advice, uh, that maybe, maybe they might even pay you, and put it in my account, if you, like, really give them some good advice, and, you know, maybe you'll get tipped, and maybe they'll, you know, hey, that's like some really good, really good advice. Uh, what account would you, would you like that, that two dollars in? Yeah. <laughs> Woo! I know, I know, yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, if you could do that, would be good, you know. Or, you know, hey, if I have, anyway, I'll get it back to you, okay? Thanks, bye.